Hello and good evening CSI 258 section 847 students for the second eight week term at Anne Arundel Community College for the spring 2015 semester. This evening's packet tracer tutorial is going to continue to build on a topic we've been focusing on here in chapter 7 which is generic routing encapsulation and we're going to grow that out with some IPsec and right now this activity packet tracer 7.2.2.4 is going to be troubleshooting generic routing encapsulation tunnels. So you can see here um, they've actually flipped uh, we just did 7.2.2.3 and they've actually flipped the diagram on us whereas before the PCs were over here to the left the routers were in the same location and then you had the internet cloud to the right they flipped it around and this is good though right gives you another look uh, you have to stop and think about it to make sure that everything is where you think it should be so a junior network administrator was hired to set up generic routing encapsulation tunnel a tunnel between two sites and was unable to complete the task you've been asked to correct configuration errors in the company network alright so we've got our addressing table over here to the right which we're probably going to need to refer to and I'm hoping that we're going to be focused here on uh, the GRE portion of things and not so much if they you know misconfigured the IP address maybe on the switch or on one of the PCs. so let's go ahead and get router A up and the majority of our focus and effort should be taking a look at router A and router B and I'm actually gonna bring this way over here to give us a, a, as much real estate as possible so we're on router A I'm gonna type enable to go from user exec to privilege exec and let's do the same thing here on router B so then we can bounce back and forth uh, and take a look at where the mistakes in the junior network ad administrators uh, wow we've got all kinds of stuff going on here so mid chain parent maintenance for IP mid chain out of zero looped chain attempting to stack aha tunnel recursion down temporarily disabled due to recursive routing right and this is a very very common mistake and let's take a look at why recursive routing is actually happening right now so it looks like one two three four we should we should probably have about five errors I'm gonna start on router a right we didn't have any do we have anything over here yeah we had nothing on router a to indicate that uh, there were any kind of errors so let's go ahead let's start out with a show IP interface brief and I'm even gonna drag it a little further to the right here okay so now we are getting uh, the recursive routing error whoops I apologize we are not I wanted to stretch out router a a little bit there and we're still gonna have it still gonna text is gonna wrap but that's okay so I just want to take a look at the interfaces here real quick so you can see we've got gig zero zero let's confirm that that is good on router a now what do you think so gig zero zero has an IP address the inside interface right here of 192.168.1.1 the tunnel zero interface is supposed to be 192.168.1.1 so it looks like right out of the gate we see that the IP address for router A and I'm actually going to use the boxes over here and I don't need to scroll down any further so this will be nice so we're gonna say the first error that we find is on router A and it's the gig 00, zero IP address whoops not ID IP address right and so the correction would be to change it to 172.31.0.1 right because that is actually what that IP address is supposed to be and we'll go ahead and throw in here slash 24 alright so let's take a look at some other things so if that's misconfigured what is that IP supposed to be that is supposed to be the tunnel IP address so let's work our way down here let's continue to work down here with router one and so as you can see the junior admin made some pretty 
basic mistakes. So 172 and hold on one second. And it looks like we've run short on space. I've got nothing in my recycle bin. So let me uh, let me pause this real quickly and I need to free up some disk space and then we'll come back and wrap this up. I apologize there. So let's pause the recording. All right, so we're going to continue on here. I actually had to uh, <clears throat> go through and delete quite a few files there. <laughs> Virtual machine locked up. So we left off with the error on uh, gig zero, zero. It's got the wrong IP. So the correction is going to be to put the right IP on gig zero, zero, which is 172.31.0.1 slash 24. And then we saw that the uh, tunnel zero interface had the wrong IP. It needs to be IP'd with 192.168.1.1 slash 30. And that was both on, both of those errors were on router a, so show IP interface brief on router A shows the interfaces are up, however, they're misconfigured. So let's go ahead and do a do show run. And you can see we've got a default route here out the serial 000 interface. And then we have a route to get to the 172.31.1.0 and this is why we're hitting the recursive uh, look up here and you can see that where are we sending our traffic that we want to go to the 172.31.0.1 uh, interface that's being sent out the serial 000 interface and is that going to be a problem sending out an RFC 1918 address out that interface. It definitely is. And this is sort of the private addressing space here. So we can also see that the next hop for that route on router A should not be out to the internet. It should be the tunnel interface. And again, the tunnel interface is 192.168.1.2 over on router B. So we can also add in here <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the route on router A is wrong. It needs to change to a next hop of 192.168.1.2 slash 30. All right, so we've identified a number of errors here. So let's go ahead and let's fix these errors on router A first. So let's go into interface gig 00. We're going to say IP address should be 172.31.0.1 and it should be a slash 24 and it overlaps so we're going to do tunnel 0 and we're just going to say IP address and we'll do 10.1.1.1 throw something on there temporarily. So now let's go back into gig 00 and let's set the IP to what it should be. So the gig 00 IP should be 172.310.1. It's a slash 24 on router A. Now we can go into the tunnel interface and put in the 192.168.1.1 and this is a slash 30. So it's a 252 subnet mask. So now we have the right addresses there. So if I were to say do show IP interface brief now we're going to see that the tunnel interface is 192.168.1.1. That's correct according to the addressing table. We've got our outside uh, internet facing interface at 209.165.122.2. That is correct. And the LAN interface, our default gateway for clients on the uh, 172.31.0. Uh, .1 or .0.0 slash 24 subnet. This is our default gateway for PCA, and those IPs are now correct. So it looks like we're good here on router A, so I'm going to say write mem. All right, so we'll save our config. Let's pull up router B, and again, we're going to be looking for many of the same errors, right? And so typically the errors are the, and in fact, 
did we not fix? Hold on one second. Did I not fix? It just dawned on me that we've got that route statement in there. So we're gonna say go to global config, and we're gonna say no IP route. So copy and paste. We'll pull that out. And now let's put in the correct route. So for me to get, so my route on router A, so for me to get from router A to the network 172.31.1.0, which is the LAN network over behind uh, router B, my next top IP should be 192.168.1.1. What? Well, the next hop, if I'm going out the tunnel interface, is going to be 1.2. All right, now we can go ahead and save the config. All right, so let's take a look at router B, because my guess is we've probably got some issues here on router B, and they're going to be many of the same, um, I would assume, right? So let's do a show, whoops, so show IP interface brief. So this will be the first one we look at. So the gig 00 interface, is that right? Should it be 172.31.1.1? It should. So the address here is correct. Our serial interface, uh, the internet facing interface is a 64.103.211.2. That is correct. And the tunnel interface, 192.168.1.2. So that is correct. So let's go ahead and take a look at the show run here. Let's see our tunnel interface. We've got the MTU, and it says the tunnel source, right? The tunnel source is gigabit zero zero. Is that correct? So remember, the tunnel source and the tunnel destination both need to be the publicly routable IP addresses, right? which is why we're seeing these errors right here. So let's sort that out. So I'm gonna say config T, interface tunnel zero. Let me go back up here. And we're gonna say no tunnel source, gigabit zero zero, and no tunnel destination. Whoops, and hopefully, did that wipe it out? Hopefully that wiped it out. Let's do a do show run here. So the junior admin did not do himself any favors. In fact, you could even say that these configurations would probably be a resume generating event for this junior admin, just based off of all of the, uh, the issues that we've seen so far in the configs. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and say tunnel source, and what would the tunnel source be from router B's perspective? Well, the source is going to be that outgoing interface, the publicly facing interface, serial 000. Now, where is it going? What is the tunnel destination? Well, the destination is going to be the public IP on router A's serial 000 interface. So we're going to say that that's going to be 209.165.122.2. All right, and our tunnel, as you can see, liked our changes, it's changed its state to up. So I'll say do show run. So there's our tunnel, and what might we also be missing on the interface here? Tunnel mode, GRE, IP, right? Because we're doing IPv4. Now, before I ran that command, we were already 100 out of 100. But this is clearly an IPv4 tunnel that we're going to be doing, so we're going to throw that on there. We'll say write mem, and let's take a look at router A. I want to see that on router A, that tunnel interface as well. All right, so we'll go into global config. We'll say interface tunnel zero, and we're going to say tunnel mode is going to be GRE IP. So we'll get that added on there as well. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and test connectivity now. So let's pull PCA up. And we've got our desktop software here, so we'll say uh, ping from PCA. We're going to ping 172.31.1.2. And again, PCA realizes that that is not on its local network segment, so it's going to ARP to the default gateway, which is router A. 
Router A is going to respond back and say, go ahead and come to me. I can, I'll route this packet for you or these packets. And when router A receives it, the source IP is PCA's IP address. The destination IP is going to be PCB's IP address. And so router A will look in its routing table and say, do I have a route to 172.31.1.2? or to the 31.1.0 slash 24 network. Do I have a route to get to this network? I do, and it goes out the tunnel interface to that next hop IP. So when router B receives that packet, he's directly connected to the network, and so he knows exactly out which interface to send that traffic. And the return traffic, it's the same thing. It comes into router B, Router B looks into his routing table and says, what is my route to get to the 172.31.0.0 slash 24 network? He has a route in here that says your outgoing interface, or I'm sorry, the next hop IP is 192.168.1.1, which brings it up to router A, who is directly connected to that network and he knows exactly where to route that packet. And in fact, let's prove that, and this is similar to what we did before, so we'll say trace RT for trace route, and let's trace from PCA down to PCB. So 172.31.1.2, and where do we go? Our first hop is to our default gateway. Our second hop is to the tunnel interface on router B. So this proves we're going through the tunnel and not out to the internet and then back into router B. Because again, remember, a GRE tunnel is, is um, analogous to a dedicated point-to-point -point serial link. And that's exactly how we've configured it as a slash 30. And so it behaves as if it's a point-to-point -point link. And we haven't run a routing protocol over this yet, and I'm, I believe we're going to be doing that here in one of the upcoming activities. Uh, but again, uh, this is a fantastic exercise, and as you can see, the junior admin here uh, definitely messed up the configuration. So, all right, so this wraps up Packet Tracer Activity 7.2.2.4, where we were troubleshooting GRE. And whenever you're troubleshooting GRE, the things that you should be looking for right out of the gate are the IP addresses aren't applied to the right interfaces, the tunnel interface doesn't have the right IP, maybe it's not in the right subnet, um, and the uh, tunnel destination, tunnel source are uh, mixed up, right? And remember, that tunnel destination and tunnel source will always be those outside globally routable IP addresses, right? At least in our scenarios here. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Saturday.